The recent boom in renewable energy has come at the expense of the coal industry, which has lost half its jobs in the last 10 years. In tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Mark Strassman reports on a training program that restores both land and labor. In West Virginia's haulers, deep in Appalachia, jobless coal miners now find a seam of hope. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do. A mine laid off James Dameron two years ago. I didn't know I didn't want to go back in the deep mines. Instead, Dameron found coal field development and its incoming CEO, Jacob Israel Hanna. Hope is only as good as what it means to put food on the table. The program's a community-based nonprofit, teaching a dozen job skills and personal ones. Construction, agriculture, solar installation. So they're going through this process here. for the Someone can get paid up to three years to learn all of them. That's a good deal. We want to make sure that you have all the tools in your toolkit to know when you do interview with an employer, here's the things that you lay out that you've learned. It's working. Training more than 2,500 people, creating 800 new jobs and 72 new businesses. A program delivering with roughly $20 million in federal grants. Instead of waiting around for something to happen, we're trying to generate our own hope. Well, this isn't pie in the sky, this is nitty gritty. Meeting real needs where they're at. Steven Spry is a grad. He's helping reclaim an abandoned strip mine turning throwaway land into lush land. Now I've kind of got a career out of just, I can weld, I can farm, I can run excavators. You can always find a, a job doing yeah. something. Yeah, absolutely. With a program, James Dameron now works only above ground. That was a big part of my identity, was being a coal miner. And even that, like, I kind of had to find myself again, I guess. And now you have. I absolutely have. Appalachia is mining something new options. For Eye on America, Mark Strassman, Mingo County, West Virginia.